Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Drills back with another tutorial. Today we're going to be showing you how to install a test server, a basic test server with vMenu. It's not going to be QB like the previous videos, it's going to be a lot more simple, easy to use. So if you just want to test chains or clothes or whatever you want to do, just chuck them in the server real quick, have a look. This is going to be the best server for you. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so first and foremost, we're going to need to create a folder. So I'm going to create a folder on my desktop and I'm going to call it Drills Test Server. It doesn't really matter what you call this folder, but obviously you're going to want to know what it is. So just call it Test Server or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't really matter, but as long as you know what it is for future reference. Right, next we're going to need to go to this website here i'm going to leave it in the description as always and we're going to basically download the latest recommended version so we're going to click here we're going to wait for that to download and then we're going to open it now i'm going to open up the test server folder we just made here and i'm going to open up the server what we just downloaded here and we're basically just going to copy all of this into here it's that simple So I'm going to hit Control and A, and I'm going to drag that over. Uh, once that's all done, I'm not going to lie, that took about five minutes. That actually took ages um, because there's a lot of data. So that might take a little while, but once that's all done, we're going to go ahead and close the zip file and keep open our test server folder. Right, next we're going to come to this link it's going to be the second link in the description and once we get here we're just basically going to click on code and we're going to download zip all right once that's done we're going to come into the folder and we're going to click this one and we're going to copy it and we're going to paste it over here Uh, once we've done that, we need to get rid of this dash master on the end. So we're going to right click, rename. And just delete the end of it like that so it looks like this. And next we're going to open up this folder. And we can delete these bottom two here. So we're just going to delete them because they're unnecessary. And then we're going to right click and we're going to do new. Text document. And we're just going to rename it server.cfg. All right, so if you can't see the CFG part, then what you're going to need to do before you change it, basically, is you're going to need to go to view, show, and then file name extensions. Make sure that's ticked so you can see the actual file name, like what file type it is. All right, so once we've got this server.cfg file, you're going to want to open this in Visual Studio Code. Um, if you don't have that, I'm going to put the link in the description and you basically just go to the website, download it, use the installer and you've got it. It's that simple. So once you've got that installed, we're going to right click this and we're going to do open with. And then click Visual Studio Code. All right, so we've got server.cfg open in Visual Studio Code. Of course, there's no content inside because we literally just made a blank document. Um, we're going to need to paste some code in here. So I'm going to put this code in the description, but I'm also going to save this file into my Discord. So if you want to join the Discord and get the file, or for any other reason you want to join the Discord, the link's going to be in the description below. So yeah, make sure to head, head over there and check out everything we've got going on over there. But yeah, for now, I'm going to paste in the code that needs pasting in. And this is basically your configuration file for your server. If you don't know already, I'll just give you a little quick rundown. So whenever we add a script or something into the server we want to run, we're going to need to ensure it. So you can see, obviously, there's vMenu here already, but we do need to install vMenu. But we'll get back to that in a minute. Um, if I wanted to make an EUP folder, for instance, obviously, I'd need to make the folder in the file system. But I would need to come here and put that. And that's basically going to tell the server to run that that bit of code otherwise even if you put a folder in the 
server files it's not going to run it unless you insure it so that's basically what that is and then we just got some other stuff which you're probably not going to touch much um and then stuff at the bottom is like for adding admins and stuff like that but yeah this is your configuration file for your server every time you add something to your server you're going to be putting it in here so get used to using this and get to know this all right so once we've got our server cfg in here and the text is in here, if you come down the bottom you're going to see license key for your server which is going to take you to a website um if you control if you hot you can copy and paste this obviously take it out of the brackets or as you can see you can control and click it And that's going to bring us to here and obviously we're going to need to sign in okay you're going to need to put your email in, and make a password do that type of stuff where you can just log in with your google account or whatever however you want to do it once you do it you're going to obviously go through this in great detail and read every single part of it just so you know exactly what it says but yeah once you've done that you're going to hit accept and we're going to be brought here now we want to create a new server so we're going to click on server new server sorry so we're gonna click capture but we need to create a display name for our thing so i'm gonna call it drills test server. there we go and um, we're gonna hit generate now you see there's a key here it is blurred out um obviously i don't want you to see it so i'm going to copy this key and then we're going to be pasting it in but obviously everyone's key will be different but just come to this part copy the key and then we're going to come back to our server cfg once we've copied our key and we're basically going to delete this change me and paste our server key in so whenever you make changes to your server cfg make sure you come up and hit file and save otherwise it will not work it will not be safe so you've got to save it it's kind of just compulsory now once we've done all of this we're going to go back to our server files and if we go inside resources we're going to see so we've got some automatic stuff here which is kind of what it uses for the system but we're going to want to add stuff on so we're going to create another folder um and you see you've got these flat brackets it's going to be flat brackets and then inside it's going to say scripts so i'm going to go ahead and make that folder Right now, inside our scripts folder, whenever we're adding in, I don't know, custom clothing, guns, whatever we want to add in, we can paste it inside this folder, the folder of whatever you're adding, or a script, for instance. And then, obviously, we'll need to go back and do the ensure process on our server CFG. But for now, we're going to be adding the vMenu server into our scripts folder. So this is going to be another link in the description. This is for vMenu. This is basically a GUI menu inside the game that's going to help you to navigate, change clothing, change weather, whatever you want to do, basically. This vMenu is just basically an in-game menu that's going to help you to do what you need to do inside your server. So go to the link that I've provided, and then once you've got there, scroll down to the bottom and click on this zip all right once we've downloaded this we're actually going to click on it and we're going to do extract all and then we're just going to change the name of it so it just says vmenu just like that and then we're going to copy this We're going to go back to our scripts folder and we're going to paste it in and we actually open it. You're going to see in here we've got some more files that obviously are part of the menu. So we're going to open up the config and we're going to open up permissions. And that's going to open in vStudio code as well. Um, so basically we're going to look through here and we're going to find the permissions bit. And basically what we're looking for this line 178 so if you're downloading the exact same version as me you can just skip straight to 178 um if it's a different version it very well might be on a different line but if this is if this server is just for you and your own use we're basically going to come here and we're going to delete this hashtag in front of it 
and that's going to enable this line of code. So basically this is going to allow everyone that's using the V menu, which is probably only going to be you, to basically use the functions of it and be able to use it in game. So again, we're going to file and save. All right, so next we need to go back to our actual server files again. And we're going to go back a few steps. When we get to this fo folder here, which is actually our main folder, we're going to scroll down. We're going to look for this. It's going to be the one with the red bit, so it's going to be easy to find, and we're going to run it. So we'll double click on that. Going to hit allow. And we're just going to wait. Right, once this happens, you'll get a pop-up. Now, this pop-up is going to look like this. Now, it has automatically copied that over. If it hasn't copied it over, then obviously go back to your code and just copy the pin there. But it should automatically copy over. So once that's done, we're going to hit link account and continue. And then we're going to create some type of backup password. I'm going to tick the terms and service and create master account. Okay, right. So we're going to obviously click next here and we're going to give the server a short name. So I'm just going to call this drills v3. The reason I'm saying v3 is because this is the third server of v menu that I've made before. So you can call yours whatever you want. Now, if we're just creating a QB core or something, we'd probably click on here, but because we've already created the server in a folder system and it's vMenu, we're gonna click on existing server data. And then it's gonna basically ask us for a file location. Now, the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna go back to our server files and we're gonna need to come to this folder here where we've got resources and server CFG. And we're gonna right click up here and copy address as text. Then we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna paste that in. We're gonna hit next. Now, this is automatically detected because the folder we just pasted in contains the server CFG. So obviously that says that if it didn't, you'd need to obviously locate the CFG and paste that address in. But it does, and it should do for you too. So we're going to hit save. And of course it says we're all set. You can run this with the .bat file, which I'll show you about in a minute. So we're going to do save and start server. And this is going to open up our TX admin page. Now, one thing I will say is you probably want to bookmark this here unless you can remember it, which like I can't. So what I, I will always do is bookmark this. So your browser might be different, but for this Opera GX browser, we're just going to click this heart. And I just renamed that to TX admin. Now we have this every time we start our server. Now we'll be able to click here. You can access all of this in game. If you go in a search, uh, the typing bar and do slash TX, you'll get something similar. But from this console, you'll be able to edit your resources, your CFG, like all sorts of stuff in here. Um, so this is a really good GUI for it. So it's definitely worth using this. Right, now once you've waited a while and this seems to have stopped for a reasonable amount of time, what I would suggest you do is hit restart and confirm. Now, when a server starts up properly for the f for like every time, you'll always see this when it's finished starting up. So when you see this, it actually says cfx.re. I don't know if you can read that or not. Um, but when that comes up, it means basically the server's finished starting up. Right, so once that's all said and done, you're going to have these three folders. We're going to have the test server folder. What we made was obviously you got all the stuff in we've already looked at, where you're going to add your scripts, etc. You've got a TX data folder, which is just some files and stuff it needs for TX data. And you're going to have this one, which is actually going to start our server when we click on it. So first thing, if we're going to want to get into our server, we're going to need to start it. So we're going to click on this. 
and then as before we're going to wait for this until we see the cfx.re kind of writing come up now once we see the magic red writing come up we're going to need to open up 5m and if everything's been done correctly once we open up 5m we're going to see here yours might say something different because my computer's got a name of warbox um so we're basically just going to click on this connect to lan Gonna hit OK. It's gonna want to reset 5M on this one because it wants a different version. Just click OK when you need to. Right now, once we start up our 5M server, we're gonna have a couple of menus. Now we're gonna have the TX admin menu. So to open this, we're gonna press T and then slash TX and then hit Enter. That's going to give us our TX admin menu, which you can see you've got options to no clip, teleport, spawn vehicles, heal yourself, send announcements, stuff like that. If you hit the tab button, you're going to go to players. It's obviously only going to show you yourself because you're the only one in the server. And if you hit tab again, then you're going to have TX admin come up, um, which is kind of the same as the online GUI that I showed you before you're gonna have different things for different stuff so you so you're gonna have like your console and if you come through these you're gonna have resources which obviously we've only got V menu at the moment but when you add resources more will come up here and yeah there's just other stuff I just suggest you go through these and get to know them etc so if we come out of this and we're going to have the other menu which is the v menu now to open this we're going to press m now you're going to see we have got different options on here we've got player related options which for instance you can create characters you can change the way they look and stuff like this obviously that's handy for obviously when you're testing chains and stuff like that um you're going to have weapon options so if you're trying to test out weapons you've made then Obviously, you'll be able to spawn them in once you've added them through here. Um, and yeah, just stuff like that, really. You're going to also be able, if you go into world-related options, change the time, change change the weather, stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's better. So, weather, obviously, you can change it to rainy for instance and yeah basically that is it guys i hope this tutorial has helped you as always if it has please hit that subscribe button the like button and drop a little comment let me know let, let me know if i've helped you i'll appreciate that that will help the channel to grow and help us to keep making good content for you don't forget if you want to join the discord the link's in the description below but until the next one guys this is drills over and out